Hey guys, so today we're going to be learning about combining like terms. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be able to do just that. All right, so the lesson today is going to include a lot of vocabulary. However, once we get done with that, it'll be easy breezy. So let's go ahead and look at our first word, expression. An expression is a mathematical phrase that combines numbers, so numbers we use every day, such as three, one-fourth, um, eight, and or variables, and our variables, remember, are those placeholders uh, for numbers, our letters, so we might use an X, a C, a Q, really any letter in the alphabet. And there are also gonna be operations in expressions, so something like addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. However, an expression will not have an equal sign. You will never see an equal sign in an expression. So an example of expression of an expression is something like just the number five. That would be an expression. Or if I had the mathematical phrase three plus two, that's an expression. Uh, maybe something with a variable like negative two x plus seven. That'd also be considered an expression. Now a coefficient is the number that's being multiplied by the variable. So if we look at this first one here, we have a 7c. The number that's being multiplied by the variable c is 7. So my coefficient is 7. Now when I look at 1 3rd y squared, that's a little tricky because you might say, well, I have this exponent here, so is that the number? Well, no, because our variable is not being multiplied by 2. The number that it's being multiplied by is the 1 3rd. And finally, let's look at this r. So this is a variable all by itself. Now the definition of a coefficient is that it's the number being multiplied by the variable. So my question to you would be, what number can I multiply r by that's not going to change it? Well, that number is one. So our coefficient to just r or to just any variable by itself is always one. Our next term is going to be like terms. So like terms are terms that have the same variable but different coefficients. So let's say I have the term 8x squared and I want to write a like term for it. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use the same variable. We also are going to take the exponent along with the variable. So in order for a term to be like to 8x squared, it also has to have an x squared. The only difference is going to be the coefficient in front. So I'm just going to choose a different number than 8, and I'm going to go with 11. So 11x squared would be the perfect example of a like term to 8x squared. Let's go ahead and look at another one. Let's say I have the term negative 3b, and I want to write a like term to it. Well, I know that it has to have the same variable, so I'm going to have a b in my like term, so I can go ahead and put that there and I know that I'm gonna need a different coefficient, a different number being multiplied by the variable. Well, my original number was a negative three, so let's choose instead um, a one-half. So one-half b would be a perfect example to a like term to b, to negative three b, excuse me. And finally, the last term that you need in your notebook is simplest form. So simplest form is going to be when an expression contains no like terms or parentheses. Okay, go ahead and get example one written down in your notebooks. So example one is asking us to simplify. The expression it gives us is 17u plus 25u. What I'm gonna start with is any terms that I see that are like, I'm going to put the same shape and the same color around them. So I'm gonna start with my first term. I have a 17u. I'm going to give it a blue square. My second term is a 25u. I know that it's a like term to 17u because they have the same variable but a different coefficient. So I'm also going to put a blue box around it. You'll notice I included the sign in front of it. So when we see that we have two like terms and they're being added together, what we're gonna do is our final answer will keep that variable. So our final answer will have the u. And then I'm gonna take the coefficients, the numbers being multiplied by the variable, and I'm going to add them together. 17 plus 25 gives me 42. 
I know this is, this is in simplest form because I only see one of each kind of term and there are no parentheses. So I'm going to box my final answer that, so that the teacher knows that that's it. Let's go on to example two. Please write this down. So example two has a few different kinds of terms. Yes, they all have the same variables, but we also have to look at the exponents. So I'm going to start with my first term, which is a 6t squared. And I'm going to look to see if there are any other terms that have a t squared or a t to the second power. When I go down, I don't see another one until I get to the positive 2t squared. So I'm also going to put a box around that. There are no more like terms to t squared or t to the second power. So I'm going to go back to the beginning, and I'm going to go to the first term that doesn't have a shape around it, and that's a positive 3t. So I'm going to look through my expression and see if there are any like terms. And sure enough, there's a minus t. They both have the same variable t, and they do not have exponents. So then what we'll see at the very end is that there's one more term left over, which is a positive 3. So at this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to combine together any terms that are alike. So I'm going to start with my blue boxes. 6t squared plus 2t squared gives me an 8t squared. Again, when we combine like terms, they keep the same variable and exponent, but we add together their coefficients. Let's move on to the green circles. Now I have 3t minus t. Again, I'm going to go ahead and keep my same variable, but then I'm going to um, add together my coefficients. So my first coefficient is a 3, but my second one's a little trickier. We talked before about how if we have a variable by itself, its coefficient is 1. So what I'm going to take is 3 minus 1, and that gives me a positive 2. We have to remember to include our operation the positive sign, otherwise we have something that looks like this, 8t squared and then 2t, and this is getting a little confusing. It looks like I need to multiply everything together, and that's not correct. We want to be adding these terms. And then finally, I only have one purple um, triangle, so I'm just going to bring that directly down. Now in order to be in simplest form, it means I need to have only one of each term. And sure enough, I only have one um, t squared, one t term, and then one term without a variable. So this is my final answer. All right, so please go ahead and try these two u-tries. Get them written down. Try your best and bring questions to class tomorrow. Good luck.